Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for May 13th, 2020. So today we have Gaia. Yes, so this is getting grounded, getting detoxified, being aware, and there will also be things happening with Gaia. Get ready for it. Uh, this isn't unusual and this isn't like, you know, grand news. I mean, we know pretty much every summer, especially, there's always something going on around the world. So this is asking us to just be mindful of the energy we're putting out and how it affects the world around us. This is getting back to basics too. This is getting back to our truest nature. Again, you know, a lot of the things that society, we were talking about this yesterday, a lot of things that society has done as we've done collectively to try to make ourselves better, actually in some cases is working against us because we don't have the full story before we start jumping to conclusions. And this is saying we're getting back into our truest nature that way we have our heart wisdom to help us feel things out, okay? So we might have a little empathy for someone because we've been through that story, right? That's usually how you become <laughs> very empathetic is because you've been through it. Um, or we have sympathy for someone or we are caring and we, we can gauge what's real and what's not real, not necessarily just from the mind, but from the heart as well. And when those two things are online and we're getting in touch with our truest nature, our perceptions are very, very sharp. And we start to see things outside of the societal story that we get told, okay? Because some of these things that we have been taught are the right things to do. It's just another method of mind control. We traded one mind control for another. Instead of taking everything case by case and looking at it with an open heart, we're quick to judge. And that's the energy in the world right now. That's the energy on Gaia right now. It's this judgment. Finding any reason to read into and therefore be angry about something. Did you forget what happens when you have collective anger? Did you forget? You have a human duty here. And that is to find your peace, to find your love, to find the love of everybody else, to blend our energies. That's how we're getting into our expanded consciousness, not by fighting. Well, you're not allowed to say that, Michelle. You know, you're not, you don't know my experience. You're not doing this. You're not doing that. <sighs> I know what it is to be in this world, <laughs> okay? And I have seen quite a bit. In my days, I've gone through a lot myself. And I can say firsthand, anger gets you nowhere. And it's not authentic. Anger is taught. Anger is encouraged. Why? It's what we've been saying a long time. Who's feeding off of that? We are all sisters and brothers. We are all here to support one another in our experiences. And if someone is being cruel to you, the good people are gonna back you up on that and they're gonna send you love. But if we're looking for slights where none were intended, we're harming ourselves, we're harming the earth because that story's done. Do you understand me? That story is done. Now we have to be there for one another. We have been brainwashed into thinking that we need to be against one another. That, let's say, if you're a man and I'm a woman and you don't hold the door open for me, that auto automatically makes you a misogynist. And now we're at odds. And even that word, didn't that send a tingle up your spine? It did for me. I don't like it. Does that mean misogyny doesn't exist? No, it's still out there. But I think, you know, another problem that we need to address instead of just looking at it like in this example, like a male-female issue, um, why aren't we more aware and considerate of others? I mean, you don't have to hold the door open for me. I can hold my own door. But, <laughs> but you know, I mean, it would, it's just I hold doors for men. I hold doors for anybody if you're right behind me. You know, I make sure that you, you know, it's, it's an act of kindness. Where can we start implementing more acts of kindness? Where can you do that? Now, 
a lot of us do approach this world a lot of you watching this i know you are the good-hearted ones <laughs> a lot of you out there um you know you are the ones to do the acts of kindness all the time and then when they're not returned it can feel like a slight it's sort of like why why can't we all just get along why can't we all just be nice to one another but here's the thing and i'm writing this with you and learning this um all that's doing is helping us see what we need to see why won't some people smile and say hello back well maybe i didn't maybe they didn't see you see there are the enablers there, there they are <laughs> get really keen on on spotting those types of people and don't give into their energy all right they're making their choices uh so i'm starting to lose my voice here from doing all these videos <laughs> but um yeah so what i'm getting at here is about a collective energy and this awareness and breaking things down and i'm not saying uh, you know because there are going to be people out there they hear the word misogyny they get triggered honey don't come talking to me about misogyny i spot it and when it's proper i will do whatever i feel is right in that moment and maybe that thing that feels right isn't fighting but just offering another perspective okay so we have to stop giving into this thing of seeing each other as enemies, being on the lookout for someone, policing one another, and like looking out for someone who does wrong. Um, and then balancing that with not necessarily turning your face away when you, for example, God forbid, um, if you see, again, God forbid, a drunk driver on the road, call the authorities, okay? <laughs> like, and if somebody wants to have judgment on you because they, they see you as, this uppity person that had to turn someone in. No, you know, we're getting better at cutting away the brainwashing and responding in a way that is natural to us. That is the kind of energy that's going to help lift up Gaia. That is what we're learning to do now. It's going to be messy. People are going to argue. They're going to find reasons why you're wrong. They're going to find counter arguments because again, we were taught that counter arguing and debating is fun. I don't know about y'all. Like, who came up with that? Like, I don't know. Expressing opinions in a loving way, that's beautiful. Debating one another? Leave it for your air sign friends, okay? <laughs> your water sign sister over here, she's got no capacity for that, okay? <laughs> but the whole point here is to lay down our swords and, and stop turning against one another. Again, step up when it's time, but make sure you authentically feel that it is time to step up, all right? And you're not just being reactionary. So, we're going to leave it there, guys. I'm sending you so much love and take care. Bye-bye.